Too much time has passed. I'm looking for a new job. Greetings, salutations. This is Notorious. We haven't realized the big bad fox here to read you a poem. This one is entitled. What's it titled in? Oh, Hell Has Its Standards. Um, I like this one because. To be fair, I. I have my own mindset of what religion is, and what these planes all represent, and what they exist for. So. But we're not going to get into a tangent about that because that wastes time. But this is a poem inspired by Lysik. I'm pretty sure you realize he, they have inspired many of my poems. So please do go over to their channel. The link will be below. And check out their awesome artworks. But without anything to further say or do, let's play some air drums. Many don't understand that being a being of class means that, alas, I must hold myself to standards that others can't comprehend. Yes, that I must dress to impress and show that I am above all those who look down upon me from their holy thrones. But just because I strayed my tie and die in the blood and the solace doesn't mean that I am above enjoying those many things that one would think would separate us. For as black and white as the heaven and hell are, we are only seen that way due to the fools who forget that the citizens who walk the heated streets of brimstone are the foolish employees who question those angels and their boss. Yes, they who fail to oblige and grovel at his feet and be the yes man that he demanded us to be. For damnation is paved in the mistakes of the many who try to do what is best for business, paved in the voices that were drowned out by the choices of the superiors, believing that they were all that was needed to prosper and pave their own way to heaven's gate. For as a woman who indulges in the failed opportunities of the saintly, I could only ask why they continue to do all they can to please he who only wants them to drop to their knees and beg him to share his wealth with those who even I see as below me. First take, we'll take it. But you made them shut up, other me. This was a good first take. I'm still having to learn and tell myself, hey, if you, if, if, if you, can, if you can go through the mess up, then they're not that big. But this is notorious. I'm out. This is. Greetings, citations. This is Notorious. And if you haven't realized, well, I'm not here to read you anything. I'm actually here to promote my book that I just published. It came out October 7th. And I actually gotten the paperback promotion book for me to hand out to all my homies and friends. And this is it. If you can't see it, let me get that close. It's called Chronicles of the Death Row 13. Curtain Call. This series itself is my elaborate brainchild. It is a light novel. That's what she said. Um, no, that bitch ain't light. That bitch is thick as fuck. I'm sorry. This is 690 pages of thick bitch. And if you can read it all, I applaud you. And I also thank you, because that means you don't take the time to actually do so. But... This is a sci fantasy with a little bit of fourth wall breaking and oh, I thought that show's gonna get blocked. <clears throat> Sorry, I know. Professionalism. My channel's not known for that. You all know this. But <clears throat> this series I want to be able to go as far forward as it can backwards. So that's all to the fan zone. If fans read this and they go, oh my lord, this is amazing, I can go backwards with it and tell you some of the backstories of some of the characters, because 
this this three volume set is going to give you a little glimpse of what the characters become but I also don't mind going backwards and showing you how they got there because that's also fun you know like how Star Wars did but better yes I'm calling out you episode 1, 2, and 3 but I think I said enough I appreciate all those who support me all those who have been with me from the beginning of this YouTube channel and decided to stick around I can't wait till my YouTube channel reaches the great publicity that my DeviantArt channel got. It's not gonna happen. No, it probably will happen. It'll just take a lot of work. I mean, I actually put work in my DA channel. I didn't put shit in my YouTube channel, let's be fair. But now I kind of have a reason to. So, um, I don't think I have anything else to say. As you can see and everything, if you want to know, the prices are right there. It's $34.99 for the her bag volume and $5.99 for the Kindle. Let's be fair. <laughs> $34.99 for this thick bitches. Eh, it makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, again, that thick bitch. And I said I said before, it's a light novel. Again, that's what she said and no, that's a fucking lie. That bitch ain't light at all. But this is notorious. I'm out. This is...